Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your uh, December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love, okay? Uh, your blocks and challenges, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, outcome, uh, if there's anyone new coming towards you, if you need what you need to know about this individual, if there is. Um, so apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. If you're dealing with anyone right now, um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in um, Following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So what messages do we have here for Sagittarius? For single Sagittarius here in love, what's going on with single Sagittarius? What are their blocks and challenges at this time here when it comes to love? Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Strength card, the Nine of Swords, and the Star card. Okay, so um, I would say that Sagittarius, I feel like some of you guys could have gone through some sort of recent heartbreak here. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups. Yeah, it could have been some sort of third party situation here. Okay, and you know, I do feel like right now in this very moment, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely looking for support you're trying to get back on your own two feet you know some of you guys could be dealing with some sort of like mental health uh situation depression anxiety stress here but you know i do feel like you know you do have protection from the universe at this time here you're the universe is actually guiding you out of this situation here you know so a lot of you guys are definitely you know working on yourselves right now trying to heal trying to get back on your own two feet here trying to find that passion and that drive again okay uh I, I do feel like whatever this is you know um whatever you went through here Sagittarius I do feel like, I do feel like, I do feel like it was quite devastating okay we have the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Cups we have the Three of Swords here and also we have the King of Swords here okay see so emotionally you have withdrawn from somebody here somebody here has withdrawn from someone because it does, sometimes that Queen of uh, Wands is a representation of a third party here. So this Queen of Cups could be you. And this King of Swords is trying to make plans to come back around to, you know, reconcile, to make things right here with you. But, you know, I do feel like you're definitely in this energy of trying to, like, free yourself from this. Now, let's say you guys are single here, right? You guys, you're, you're, you're trying to move on with your life. But you could be fixated and worried, like, what this person's doing away from you. Like, if this person's with a third party. It does seem like this person is with a third party here, okay? Three of Cups here in the Page of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy, the Strength card here, and also the Knight of Pentacles. It does seem like whatever happened here, it, this triggered you to work on yourself, work on healing your inner child here, okay? Some of you guys could also be focusing on just taking care of the kids here, okay? Uh, if you guys have kids. Um, but yeah, I do feel like you guys are slowly, slowly healing and moving away from this here. You know, some of you guys also could be finding your calling at this time here too. So we have the Nine of Swords and also we have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. And also we have the Star card here. This might have triggered you also to heal from maybe your mommy daddy issues here too. Yeah, it seems like, you know, whatever is going on here, it seems like you guys are connecting the dots here in a way, okay? Um, yeah, I, I feel like some of you guys did not have a father figure. Uh, maybe, you know, it could be a situation that, you know, you have never met your father before or that you, uh, your father died, uh, passed away at a, very, at a very young age. So there was like a no... There was no positive masculine role that was in your life, you know, to kind of like model. Uh, and, and I feel like you could have um, kind of suffered in your romantic relationships because of that. And you guys are working on healing that right now or that you guys are in the process of that. Uh, what else do we have for Sagittarius? Single Sagittarius here. Outcome. What else does single Sagittarius need to know? Also, if there's anyone new coming in for them here, for single Sagittarius. Okay, so single Sagittarius here. Yeah, some of you guys could also be out there just meeting for uh, meeting people for fun, if you guys are into that. But if not, you guys could just be meeting people just to meet people here. Okay, the uh, devil. 
Capricorn energy, the Seven of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> Eight of Cups here. I have an itchy nose. I don't know why it's so itchy. Okay. We have the Justice card. Ten of Wands, and also we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You know, there's definitely some sort of negative feelings towards a situation that you went through here. Um, could have been very confusing for you, but I, I feel like you had to walk away. Yeah, I just feel like you had to walk away. So, I, you know, in this very current moment here, yeah, I feel like you're meeting people here. I don't really feel like there's anything serious that could turn out of it here or come out of it here. But, you know, more so that you guys are still working on you. Yeah, which is totally fine. It's actually a beautiful thing that you guys recognize it and that you guys have to work on clearing out energies here. You know, energies that you don't really need anymore. Energies that are uh, that have been latched onto you from previous relationships here. Okay, with the devil here in the nine of wands. Yeah, I do feel like you guys have dealt with trauma here. Yeah, um, some serious trauma. I, I would say that there could have been some sort of like, you know, sexual abuse here too for someone. It doesn't have to be you. It could be like someone that you dealt with, you know. So uh, we have the Sun card here and the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups here and also we have the Two of Swords here. So, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that If you guys have been wearing blinders or wearing, like, if you, if you guys had rose-colored glasses on, you know, I feel like you guys are finally taking them off here and just really um, not spiritually bypassing what you guys have to do in order for you guys to spiritually transcend and ascend from this, okay? So, or, 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 or uh, um, yeah, I think that's what I had to say. I don't know why, but I almost get the feeling like, you know, some of you guys could be in this very moment very confused or that you, you're having a hard time articulating what you're trying to say here, okay? We have the Justice card here and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Shaman here, and the Ten of Wands here, and also the Empress here, Libra, Taurus. Okay, beautiful. Interesting. We have the Empress of Empress here. You could have been dealing with a strong divine counterpart here. I, I do you feel like there's a lot of people after you here, you know, in a way where, you know, people are interested in getting to know you and stuff like that. But like I said, I feel like in this very moment, you're not really looking for anything serious at this time here. Yeah, you're not really looking for anything serious. I just feel like you guys are trying to manifest, you know, um, you know, kind of dive into your creativity here. You know, you guys are trying to expand your life. You're trying to grow. You're trying to heal. Uh, you guys are trying to attract good, good energy here or good people in and around you here. So, you know, I do feel like you're on, a, you're on a really good track here. You know, that Empress is a representation of, you know, love here, self-love here, you know, nurturing, you know, a nurturing energy. So that nurturing energy that you're that you were putting towards other, you're nurturing yourself at this time, okay? So, uh, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.